Oh, have a look at that. This one's a bit grumpy. Oh, oh, oh. There he goes again. Today, we've got some really exciting and very cute little animals to release. These guys in here, these are baby carpet pythons. I'll get them out, you probably won't be able to see them at this point, they camouflage so well. But these little ones, they are only about one day old, they started hatching yesterday. There's actually about a dozen in there. And so these guys, they've had a pretty crazy life already. We were able to take these eggs in out of a compromising situation, get them incubated and have all of them hatch out successfully. And now we're gonna be able to head out, release these guys and give them a second chance at survival. So we're really, really stoked for this. And I absolutely love baby carpet pythons. They're just adorable. You wait until I lift this lid, it'll be mayhem. <laughs> We're going to do something a little bit different. This just came back from the shop, so I'm going to take this out. And luckily, we've got you guys, our trusty AV team right here. And I'm going to put snakes on the buggy. And this absolute legend is what I'm going to take out. This actually just came back from the shop. This is actually Dad's old bike. This is his old beat around bush bashing bike that he used to take around uh, out on our conservation properties. And he'd also, every morning, he'd take Bindi and I around the zoo. He'd sit us here on the front. We'd hang onto this handlebar and we'd go and get ice cream and he'd do his morning checks around the zoo. So there's a lot of history with this old motorbike and it's still running good as new. So I thought it'd be a perfect way to get this one out and have a bit of a good time and then release these snakes. Let's get into it, eh? So this really is the perfect spot to release them. I mean, just look at that. It's gorgeous bushland as far as you can see. All right, this looks like as good a spot as any. So I'll sit down here with them. And this is really nice because basically you can walk back here for hours and it's just acres and acres and acres of beautiful bush. So let's get them out. Snakes, they get a pretty bad rap, but once you see these adorable little babies, you'll never look at snakes the same way. Oh, have a look at that. Look at that tree is just completely engulfed in baby snakes. That is awesome. Now see if I can brush them off a little bit because while they're here, we also want to do a bit of a count and a quick little health check of all of them to make sure that they're all moving well. How cool is that? Isn't that just awesome? Now these guys are a fairly common species found here on the Sunshine Coast, where we are at Australia Zoo, that even though they're really, really small, hey mate, they're actually still able to hang on really well. So even though my head is a little bit slippery on my hair, he can still hang on perfectly. And this is a great indication for us to know that these guys are definitely ready to be released. They're climbing well, they've got full body motion. Now, believe it or not, these tiny little snakes even though they are incredibly small, they're gonna grow to be over 12 feet in length. They'll be the biggest snake in this entire... Oh! Oh! This one's a bit grumpy. <laughs> You're very grumpy. You just bit me on the nose. Oh! There he goes again. You can see <laughs> that this guy's ready to go. He's definitely healthy enough to, to get out into the wild. Oh! He's not compromised in any way. I mean, he's a really healthy, oh, healthy, hard-hitting snake. But that's great to see. This guy's gonna make it. He's a fighter. We want to, oh, you always want to see a snake like that that has a lot of go in him. But luckily, these guys are non-venomous. They've got tiny little pinprick teeth. If this was a little baby brown snake or something like that, it'd be a different story. Isn't he beautiful? Look at that. Now, what he's doing here is you'll notice as that camera gets closer, see that? See how he flicks his tongue out like that? See that, nim, 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 that flick, 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 real quick. That is how he smells. They actually stick their little forked tongue out and they pick up scent particles in the air. Then they drag that back into their head, 
and an organ called the Jacobson's organ reads that information, sends it straight up to the brain, and that is how they interpret the world around them. I hope that all of you guys have a more appreciation for snakes because, you know, they're not exactly the most lovable creature and a lot of people are pretty afraid of them and, and really hate snakes. But there's no reason to. If you leave them alone, they'll leave you alone. These guys play a very important role out in the environment. If we lose snakes, the entire ecosystem will suffer. Well, this is just awesome. This is the most rewarding part of the job, getting an animal in like this that's vulnerable that we can release back out into the wild. So that was just so much fun. I just love baby snakes. I love them so much. Oh, how good is that? And the last one. All right, mate, say goodbye. Say goodbye to everyone. <laughs> how cool is that? All right, see you, little guy. See you, mate. There they go, see you little mate, see ya. Oh, there he goes, look at that little tail, he's so cute. There he go, go. There he goes, perfect. You have a good life, enjoy. Oh, that's awesome. More animals, more staff, and more stories. Click on the links to see more videos just like this, and don't forget to subscribe.